Hey guys, uh, Mr. Burns here again. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about section 8.1 and the idea of tangent lines. So we discussed this in class, but in case you need a little review, I'll give you the definition of a tangent line. If we have a line like this and it goes through the circle, it touches two points. Well, a tangent line is something very special. A tangent line touches the circle at only one point. So if we could have it, if we could zoom up on this thing right now, right in this area right here, this line here would touch the circle at exactly one point, and we can identify that point you know, by putting a little dot there. So we'll just put a little dot there. So that red dot is our tangent point. That's where it touches the circle, and uh, at that point, it touches at exactly one, only one point. Okay. So definition of a tangent line touches the circle at only one point, as opposed to the other lines that I saw that goes across the circle and touches it only at uh, it touches at two points. Now this red dot here. It's also something very special. That red dot is called the point of tangency. And that's where the tangent line touches the circle. So something very special happens at this point. Okay? So if we have, I'll take another line. If we have a line coming directly from the center that touches that tangent point, so I'll try to get it as perfect as possible, touches that point right there, what ends up happening is we get this, uh, we get this right angle that forms here. Okay. Well, that's not very good. Uh, we get this right angle that forms there. So right at this point right here, let me get a pen tool. Right here, we get a right angle. Okay. So, of course, what that means is we can make a right triangle. So uh, this is where the Pythagorean theorem that I just showed you guys comes in handy. So here's our right triangle. So if we want to find... Maybe we had these two lengths. We want to find the radius of the circle because this is a radius, right? The radius intersects the tangent line uh, at a right angle when it intersects through the tangent point. Okay, so if you have a radius that hits the tangent point, you know it intersects the tangent line at a right angle. That's a very important property that we can use uh, to solve a lot of problems. Okay, so hopefully this made sense to you. If not, make sure you ask me because it's very important that you understand this. All right, let's see a few examples. I'm still fighting this flu, so ignore my sniffles. All right, so um, <clears throat> this will ask you, is AB a tangent line? So uh, why do we know about tangent lines? Well, we know a tangent line touches the circle at only one point. We also know a line, of, uh, a line from the center to the tangent point or the point of tangency makes a right angle. So if this is... Uh, a tangent line, AB is a tangent line, then there should be a right angle right here. And of course, if there's a right angle, Pythagorean theorem is true. Okay? So, first of all, when we're doing these problems, what I like to do is identify any radiuses that we have here. So, let me get a pen tool here. Uh, blue. So, we have this right here. So, the center to the edge of the circle, that's 12. We also have from the center to the edge of the circle A at our tangent point, it's also 12. Okay, so this side here, call it OB, is 20 altogether. So this entire length here is 20. So what should happen if we go 16 squared plus 12, 12 squared, we should get 20 squared. Let's try it. So 16 squared plus whoops, plus 12 squared. Let's see what that equals. So let me break out my uh, calculator here. So 16 times 16 equals 256. I should have known that. 250. 6 plus 144, and that equals 3, 400, sorry, 400. Okay, so we found the square of these two sides using Pythagorean theorem, and then we'll take the C side and we'll square it. <clears throat> And that gives us 400. Okay? So these two things are equal. Therefore, this is a right triangle. Yes. 
AB is tangent, okay, because we have a ray triangle. I should say is in there. All right, so um, this question could have easily asked, is triangle ABO a right triangle? Exactly the same question. Use Pythagorean theorem, see if you got a right angle at A, and then uh, right here at A, and then, you know, if you do, it's tangent. If you don't, it's not tangent. Simple as that, Pythagorean theorem. Um, so that's a, that's a good example. Let's try another one. Um, so we got a situation going on here. We're going to assume that this line here is uh, a tangent line because uh, it is actually a tangent line from the problem. I just uh, used this from a problem from a from a worksheet that I had, and we, the question was assume that the line is tangent, okay? And we want to find the, the length of it, so we want to find that question mark. So you can sort of see the right triangle that we have here, okay? So this distance here, 1.5, of course, looks familiar. It's the radius. So this is also a radius from here to here. It's also 1.5. So this distance, the total leg, is uh, 2.5. Okay? So this total distance of this leg, or sorry, of this side of the triangle, this is not actually a leg, is 2.5. And of course, my right angle is here, which means that's my hypotenuse. This is my c squared. And if you remember from the Pythagorean theorem video, anytime we're given the hypotenuse and we're trying to find the leg, we always subtract. So we have, I'm going to call this side, this question mark, uh, A. So I have A squared is equal to um, 2.5 squared minus 1.5 squared. So I'm not going to be using much mental math at this. I'm just going to use my calculator, see what I can get. 2.5 times 2.5, and that's equal to 6.25. Probably should have known that, but you know what? I want to be sure. I'm on a test. I'm not going to allow myself to make a mistake that uh, could cost me a couple marks. And then uh, one, declare that 1.5 times 1.5, I know it, but I want to make sure, oops, 1.5 times 1.5, 2.25, I knew that, I just want 100% sure, because I'm on a test, I don't want to lose any marks, silliness, so of course these are equal to a squared, this is equal to a squared, so when I do the math on this thing, I guess 4. Okay, 6.25 subtract 2.25 is 4. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we take the square root of 4. And of course we get 2. Alright, so this side length here is 2. So my question mark is 2. Um, so again, that's an example of how you can use the tangent line and how Pythagorean theorem is so important. I'm going to post up another example for you guys to see. Some of them are, you know, the straightforward. You can see the triangle right away. Some of them you might have to think about a little bit. But um, make sure you do your practice with Pythagorean theorem. And make sure you always identify the hypotenuse and the right angle. All right, thanks a lot, guys. See you in class.